I have so much to say in so little time, so I'm going to speak really fast. That's my disclaimer. Thanks so much to Creative Capital for having me. I'm Laura Parnas, and I make films and installations that address counterculture and youth culture where music is integral to the work. My Creative Capital project is Tour With That End. It's a multi-platform project that I've exhibited at numerous venues, including The Kitchen as both a one-day installation and as a performance event, the Wexner Center, and upcoming at Human Resources, Pioneer Works, and ICA London. I'm currently seeking new spaces to present this project as a film, performance, or as an installation, especially an installation in New York. Um, Tour casts real-life musicians, artists, and actors as bands on tour and expands into a cross-generational Trump-era commentary on contemporary culture and politics. The work revels in the sometimes hilarious but always complex band dynamics that characters endure while touring, collaborating, and aging in a youth-driven music industry. Shot in real environments, even braving the Republican convention during the 2016 election, the core group of players improvised based on semi-scripted scenes. With a nod to Warhol, legends of New York City downtown scene engage in an exploration of identity, representation, and the arts. It's shot over the course of four years in DIY music spaces in and around New York City, many of which have shuttered their doors, the film acts as an urgent time capsule for the rapidly gentrifying city. I just had a dream that we were our own cover band. Well, were we any good? Nah. This is not assimilation, this is not appropriation, this is inappropriation. That's what you're doing. If you get beat up a couple times or something, it's, it's gonna be fine. I mean, that's going to be, you know, a meeting with the youth. expects you to be angry and no one ever expects you to cry. the floor plan viewpoint of the installation. The feature film screens at announced times in one room, while two interactive archives and portraits of the performers with photos by Justine Curlin are displayed in another. That's what we're seeing now. The installation version emphasizes the extensive and growing archive of live performance from the project. The photos shown highlight the cast, a diverse community who are largely responsible for this rich underground scene and who have shaped and affected our mainstream uh, art cultures. In addition to the performance archive, viewers will be able to scroll through the film and select scenes. The selection will allow them to see the raw footage and alternative edited versions of the project. By allowing the audience to access this database, I intend to offer a kind of radical transparency regarding the construction of the film, while providing spectators with the unique opportunity to see unedited conversations between venerable figures in the arts community. 
This use of fiction and nonfiction allows for an explore, exploration of real social networks and community while forging new connections that might not exist if it were not for the project. Thank you.